Hammer Hart starts by taking the top plant and then seeds it right away. All right. Oh, Jaime, what are you doing? Hammerheart just takes control of the stage and shuts out Jaime. That was really impressive. Jaime looks like he's trying to get in some charge, but I don't think Hammerheart's going to let him do that. <laughs> well spotted by Jaime there. He just knew. He knew. taken a really interesting tactic here. Instead of just going for the top plat, taking control, he's sitting under the sitting under the side plat, and he's looking for the defense that that position gives him, and hoping that if Hammerheart comes down to challenge it, he can just take top plat, which is what he probably really wants. But of course, he can't come right down on top of Hammerheart if Hammerheart, Hammerheart is uh, on the side plat because of his massive up tilt. So Hammerheart's just uh, he's kind of baiting on the side platforms here, looking for weaknesses on the top one. Oh, missed confirm on, on a Hammerheart behind me. Oh. That's rough. I don't know if Jaime can get back from this. Yeah. That's it. Solid first game from Hammerheart. A three stock win. Jaime's got to be sweating that. Looks like he's considering a change of character. I would be too. Samus is not the ideal pick against Kirby, in my opinion. Hammerheart Jaime, game two. Welcome, Hammerhart. cheers. What? Welcome, cheers. Welcome, thank yeah. you. All right, so it looks like Jaime has decided to switch to Pikachu after a poor showing by his Samus in game one. Surprising. Uh, usually he likes the Samus Kirby matchup. That's kind of, kind of is actually one of his legacies with the Snosa series was his big, you know, Samus counter pick on Kiro to win it with the charge shot back at uh, kind of Snosa one. It was Smash Ages two, which thanks to bad graphics and <laughs> bad Photoshop, turned it into the Snosa series, so. <laughs> Snosa 1 never happened. There is no Snosa 1. Yeah, Smash of Ages 2 and, and then uh, Snosa 2. Snosa 2. <laughs> 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 so this is going to be, I don't know why we keep having Hammerheart on stream. Uh, he's played GGG, and now he's playing Jaime, and these are just going to be campy sets. <clears throat> it's because Hammerheart's the only responsible person that's always ready to play. Yeah, that's still in like winter side of bracket. <laughs> um, <clears throat> Bark's responsible, but nobody wants to watch him. He plays on every stream. Like, we're sick of Bark. Uh, we, we have a we have a Hero Pie LD match happening off stream for some reason. Oh man, why is that off stream? Okay. 
Okay, Jaime so is let's still having some trouble getting in on him. We're a minute. We're a, over a minute in. We're almost a minute fifteen now, and uh, very little damage really done. I mean, Pika's at a good eighty-six percent, which is solid for Kirby to have him there. You know, yeah, forward smash if he can pull off the read can kill him, but probably going to need a little bit more damage to get a you know throw in the middle of the stage. And Kirby not really at a strong percent uh, for. Jaime to do much, and uh, we're looking like a very campy game here, moving at a snail's pace. But that's because most both these players know the threat that each other can do to them. So Hammerheart knows how easy uh, Kirby or how easy Kirby dies from Pikachu, and Jaime knows how big and strong Kirby's hitboxes are and how hard they are to beat in neutral. And so Hammerheart takes the first stock there, but the the patience is going to be on full display for this one. And it's likely Jaime wanted to wanted to have this sort of patience and wanted to play this sort of camping game with Samus, but he just wasn't able to because of Samus' lack of speed. Hammerheart knew where he wanted to go with Samus, and uh, and he was just able to find the find the little micro you know, openings. Yeah, 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 those little openings and and just hit him. And, and Hammerheart's really good moving on the platforms strike. too, so he can he can kind of start cornering someone like Samus, uh -huh. uh, yeah, like exactly. create this cage match on Dreamland. So. And that's uh, essentially what we saw. Yeah, and, and kind of similar to Pikachu. I mean, Pikachu's got better speed, so it gives Jaime some more options. But uh, Kirby's got really fast moves with really big hitboxes, and it can control space because she can kind of hover until she gets the opening she wants with all of her jumps. And while Jaime kind of brings it back here to, to three stocks, and he's going to have a hard time clawing back up from uh, an 81% deficit if this does end up going to timeout. And I liked how uh, Hammerheart had kind of the discipline to not just panic and just do up tilt or something or grab. He pulled back, waited to see how high my attacked, and then he forward smashed. Yeah. And that's a, it's a very small amount of time to have that kind of discipline. Yeah. And so it's just a big heads up to kind of Hammerheart's understanding of the game and how it's not all about true combos. It's about controlling frame traps and taking advantage of other, other vulnerabilities the character has or the opponent has. This is really just almost a mind game here. It's it's this is not the game of training mode. This is the this is where we see the the mental approaches in Smash Bros. Where you're not jumping in with fast attacks and overwhelming your opponent. You're carefully spacing. It's every little action, every little jump is nuanced to push someone in a little bit closer to where you think you can go. Good. You know, down here to catch kind of Pika out of that up B. It's one yeah. thing Pika can kind of do in a matchup like this, where typically a character like Kirby can't fully chase the up B, is Pika can move from a disadvantaged position on stage oh. to an advantaged position if he can up B correctly. Yeah. And uh, that includes setting up these these odd sort of traps where. Miss the grab. You got to yeah. get those deck chases. You got to be a little bit faster if you really want to hold off someone like Hammerheart and you know, want to bring it back. He's. Bark had a really hard, really close, tough fought game three set against him last hit, last stock. So if Jaime wants to bring this back and pull this one off, he's got to have those punishes and those tack chases down. Excellent. You're not going to get many of them against Hammerheart. They're Ooh. few and far between. That was a great reversal by Hammerheart there. He knew that Jaime was going to try and press his advantage on the edge. And he just waited until Jaime uh, did something unsafe on his shield, grabbed him, and tossed him off. And we just saw right there, too, same thing. Uh, Hammerheart just gets the little hit. Just He doesn't need anything big, just the one little hit it down here. Gets him into a tumble, waits till he sees the tech chase. He knows uh, Jaime's way over 100%. So he just finds where he goes, grabs, and throws him. Hammerheart does not waste an opportunity. And that's what's made the difference in this set. It's why it's the three stocks for, Heim or for, for Hammerheart, because he's capitalized on all the openings he's had. Jaime's dropped a couple tech chases. He does get that grab, though. Kind of a foolish approach by Hammerheart there, kind of falling in on a Pikachu all the way at the edge of the ledge. Maybe getting a little overconfident. Yeah, I guess sometimes people want to just, they see the lead, they see the time, they want to just force force the game out. Yeah. The longer you have to wait, the more time you give him to get in. So killing him faster means uh, approaching victory you know, with more certainty. Sure, sure. 
Ironically, though, the exact opposite is what you want to do because <laughs> if the clock runs out, you, if you're already in a the lead, then that's fine. That's, yeah, but, it, you know, the thing is the P if Pikachu gets enough opportunities, he can combo Kirby fairly well, and Jaime is like, pretty good at what he does, so... The longer you wait, the more chance. The longer you wait without killing Jaime, the more chances you're giving Jaime to find the opening he needs to get a kill. So he kind of stuttered there. Like he got the hit, he could have had probably an up smash, and it seemed like he stuttered. He didn't really get his landing clear, so uh, Jaime was able to nair out. But that's uh, those are things. Jaime's not going to continually miss those. I love. What he, that's the second time he did that. That's the last stock and this stock. He did that for both those stocks. He just does the one hit down air. Pops him up just a little bit off the platform. You know he's going to have to tech. You don't try to do anything fancy. You just see where he go. 